So hello everyone now in this video I am going to start from sum number 2 of the exercise 21e. This is a third part from this exercise for the previous one please check the description box the link will be there. So here in question number 2 if sin a plus cos a equal to p okay and sec a plus cosec a that one equal to q then prove that q into p square minus 1 equal to 2p okay you have to show that q into p square minus 1 equal to 2p so first write down lhs here you have q into p square minus 1 so now the value of q you know that sec a plus cosec a and the value of p square p square means sin a plus cos a whole square then minus 1 okay so here sec a plus cosec a now sin a plus cos a whole square is the formula of sin square a then cos square a then 2 sin a cos a because a plus b whole square formula so this one here sec a plus cosec a and sin square plus cos square equal to 1 so 1 then minus 1 and then 2 sin a cos a now 1 1 cancel out so here 2 sin a cos a multiply with sec a plus cosec a now multiply this one so 2 sin a cos a into sec a then again 2 sin a cos a into cosec a now cosec is the reciprocal of sin and here cos is the reciprocal of sec so this one will be here 2 sin a plus 2 cos a okay 2 sin a plus 2 cos a so your answer is 2 p that one equal to your right hand side so it's proved now next one sum number 3 so here in sum number 3 if x equal to a cos theta and y equal to b cot theta then show that a square by x square minus b square by y square that one equal to 1 ok so as here x equal to a cos theta so that means x square equal to a square cos square theta and y square equal to b square cot square theta so a square by x square minus b square by y square let's put down the value a square here a square cos square theta then minus b square here b square cot square theta so b square b square cancel out a square a square cancel out 1 by cos square means 6 square theta 1 by cot square means 10 square theta now 6 square theta minus 10 square theta equal to 1 ok and it's proved so next one next one here sum number 4 sum number 4 here sec a plus 10 a this one equal to p then show that sin a equal to p square minus 1 and then p square plus 1 ok sin a equal to p square minus 1 then p square plus 1 you have to show this one ok so here I am going to start from right hand side. So p square minus 1 divided by p square plus 1. Here p square means sec a, sec a plus 10 a, then whole square minus 1 and this one here sec a plus 10 a whole square plus 1. Okay. So now next one here sec a plus 10a whole square ok so this one equal to 6 square a plus 10 square a then 2 sec a 10a minus 1 
In denominator again sec square a tan square a 2 sec a tan a plus 1 okay so now here 6 square okay this one 6 square and minus 1 so 6 square minus 1 is the formula of tan square a then again you have tan square a okay and this one here 2 sec a tan a done so now in the denominator write down 6 square a and as here tan square a plus 1 so tan square a plus 1 is the formula of again 6 square a then 2 sec a tan a so from the numerator tan square plus tan square 2 tan square so if you 2 tan a if you come on 2 tan a so it will be here tan a plus sec a from the denominator if you come on 2 sec a so it will be here sec a plus tan a so this two will be cancel out 2 2 cancel out now tan means sin a by cos a and sec means 1 by cos so here cos cos cancel out this one equal to sin a and it's proved okay clear okay now move on to next problem next one here some number 5 some number 5 here given that tan a equal to n tan b okay given that tan a equal to n tan b and sin a equal to m then sin b okay m sin b so that means here n equal to tan a by tan b and m equal to sin a by sin b now you have to prove that m square minus 1 divided by n square minus 1 m square minus 1 divided by n square minus 1 this one equal to cos square a okay so now you know the value of m and n so the square of m square it's sin square a by sin square b minus 1 and here tan square a by tan square b minus 1 so here lcm equal to sin square b so this one here sin square a minus sin square b okay and here lcm equal to tan square b so here tan square a minus tan square b now as you know that tan means tan means sin by cos so tan square a means sin square a by cos square a and tan square b means sin square b by cos square b okay sin square b by cos square b so here we can write down first write down the numerator sin square a sin square b divided by sin square b and then the denominator write it down in this way tan square b and here instead of tan square here you can write down as here tan square a so that means here sin square a by cos square a minus sin square b by cos square b okay when you have two fraction suppose a by b then here c by d so we can write down this fraction as a by b into d by c okay write down the first fraction as same as the numerator then write down the denominator in the reciprocal form okay remember this one okay so now here sin square a minus sin square b then here sin square b and this tan square b tan square means you know that tan square means sin square by cos square so sin square b by cos square b clear and here 1 by sin square a cos square a minus sin square b cos square b so sin square b sin square b cancel out so upper one you have here sin square a minus sin square b 
Now multiply cos square b. So cos square b sin square a divided by cos square a minus then cos square b will be cancel out. So it will be sin square b. Clear? It will be sin square b. Okay. Now next what we will do? So here as in the numerator you have sin square a minus sin square b. So here cos square a because as here the LCM equal to cos square a. So multiply cos square a with the numerator. So cos square a into sin square minus sin square b and this one here cos square b sin square a then sin square b cos square a. Okay. So here cos square a and in the place of sin square a we can write down cos square a. Okay. Then in the place of sin square b you can write down 1. So 1 minus it will be here minus so minus minus plus cos square b because sin square a means 1 minus cos square. So sin square b means also 1 minus cos square but as here minus so it will be minus 1 plus cos square. Okay. Now this one here cos square b and this one here sin square a in the place of sin square b again we can write down 1 minus cos square b then cos square a. Okay, here 1, 1 cancel out. So, write down here cos square A and this one cos square B minus cos square A. And here cos square B sin square A minus 1 to be plus cos square B cos square A. So, here cos square A then cos square b minus cos square a and if you come on cos square b so it will be sin square a plus cos square a okay from this two cos square b sin square a and cos square b cos square a if you come on cos square b so it will be cos square into sin square a plus cos square a and that one equal to 1 so minus 1 okay and uh, sorry the, this one will be not 1 here this one will be here as you multiply cos square cos square a with 1 and with cos square b so it will be minus cos square a so write it down here minus cos square a okay so this one here minus cos square a so now this portion will be cancel out your final answer cos square a it's a little bit lengthy problem okay observe it very carefully and this is the last sum for this video. So guys, if you like my video, please, please share this video and please subscribe my channel.